Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can add a chart to a SharePoint site or page. So I'm in a team site and uh, you see actually I have added here a chart. Actually, there's two. Uh, let me show you how we do it. So we'll edit the page and actually we will um, go to the area we want. We'll click the plus and we will look for chart. You see the quick chart is here and actually we can define more by clicking this uh, pencil. So uh, as I created it now, now let's see what we can do. So I click on the edit button and you see, first of all, uh, we can choose if we want a column chart or a pie chart. You see this is uh, showing it uh, in this way. Uh, let's continue. Uh, when we create it uh, the first time, actually, uh, we can uh, choose between uh, entering data or getting data from a list or library. So in the first case, I choose uh, entering data. I put uh, a data label and I put a value. So you see US and $100, uh, data label, uh, I put something else. And uh, we can actually add another uh, value. You see, you see, we can add maximum 12. So let's uh, do UK and let's uh, put a value of 300. And you see this is created. Now below, uh, we can put the uh, description for horizontal. So I put sales, you see, if I sales uh, by, so you see it's added. And also the vertical uh, ASIC, also I put here a dollar, but we can uh, uh, call it uh, sales or something like that, anything we want. Uh, so this is the first way uh, doing it by uh, entering data. Second way is actually to choose from a list. So I created a list. Let me first uh, go out and show you the list. I'll scroll down. I called it list chart. And actually I have um, a title. I have a column which is a uh, value or number. I have a country and uh, also a region. Uh, I tested it. Uh, the region is a text and so is the title. Um, it seems like uh, it works only with uh, uh, values and also te text. So this is a choice column. It, it doesn't pick it up. So let's see how it works. So uh, I'll edit the I'll edit this page, and I will go to the second example where I chose uh, based on um, a list. So I'll edit it. You see, I chose uh, from data, and I chose actually the list. You see, there's a drop down, and actually second, and now I need to choose the columns. So I chose uh, the sales is actually the the number. And from the label, I can choose either the title or the region. Both are text, it's not possible. Seems to be from a uh, choice column. And also here I put a description of uh, the horizontal uh, assets. So you see I wrote country. I'll edit it and you'll see, and also the vertical. So these are two ways to do it. Um, the manual way is, uh, I think, not that product, not doesn't make any sense. From the list makes sense, uh, but I, I, it, and, and if you look here, you can see also the split, it does it automatic. To be honest, if you want um, to do uh, advanced, uh, graphs you can uh, either add um, file uh, web part of Excel to present it or even add a uh, Power BI. But this is the functionality that currently we have and uh, by the way it says here you can 
uh, enter 12 data or show up 50 date, uh, data points. So, um, hopefully you like this video and see you in the next